polynomial. What is a polynomial? It is a perfect square. Trinomials, difference of two squares, <coughs> is the product of two binomials. One is the sum of the square root, and the second is the difference of the square root. These are examples. Monomial, example is 6x cubed. It's a one term. While for binomial, two terms were in 6x squared, uh, x, 6x cubed is y one term, plus 4x squared, y is another term. So there are two terms. 1, 2. That is y binomial. Next, trinomial. Trinomial, it's, it has three terms. First, 6x cubed plus 4x squared, y 4x squared y minus x y 1 2 3 and they are being separated by an operation of plus or minus plus or minus so these are the polynomials let us now go to factoring what is a factoring factoring is the process of Finding factors of a number or a polynomial. Number or a polynomial. Factor is an exact divisor of a given number or determining what we multiplied to get the given quantity. Let us have an example. So, let us go with a number. Example, uh, let us factor 6. <clears throat> Number 6 What are those multiples of 6? So these are 2 times 3 That is equals to 6 N or 6 It's 1 times 6 these are the factors of 6. In this case, 2 and 3 cannot anymore be factored. Cannot anymore, cannot be factored. While in this case, 1 times 6 equals to 6, your 6 here can still be factored. So 2 and 3. 2 times 3 equals to 6. This cannot anymore be factored. They are already completely factored, means that the given polynomials are in the simplest form. They are already in the simplest form and cannot anymore be factored. Let us continue in factoring. <clears throat> Let us have another number. Um, number 2, 8. So what are the factors of 8? So, we can have um, 1 times 8. 1 times 8 equals to 8. So, your 8 can still be factored. What are those? 2 times 4. So, 2 times 4 equals to 8. But, here, in this case, 1 cannot anymore be factored. 2 cannot anymore be factored. But, your 4 can still be factored. So, the answer is 2 times 2 equals 4. So, therefore, your factor here is equals to 2 times 2 times 2. That's the answer. Completely factored. How about for the number? Last number. <clears throat> number 3 it's 4. So, let's factor 4. So, what are those multiples of 4? It can be 1 times 4. Your 1 here cannot anymore be factored. But your 4 can still be factored. Is 2 times 2. So, your answer here will be 2 times 2.
two. That's the answer. Your dot represents as multiplication, as an operation, uh, as a symbol for, of, for multiplication. The dot here um, signifies your um, multiplication operation. These are examples for numbers. Let us go to polynomials. Polynomials. Number 4. <clears throat> X. Can you factor X? You cannot anymore factor because it is already completely factored. So the answer here, here is X. Next. How about for X squared? Then y squared. What are the multiples or what is the factor of x squared and y squared? We will factor it. For your x, it's become x times x. For your y, it's y times y. Let's place times y. For your x, you have x times x, 2. So therefore, your x here has an imaginary number of 1. Imaginary number 1. So therefore, add the exponent, it will give you 2. The same here for y. y times y, y, y plus 1 plus 1 will give you y squared. So, this is now your complete factor. The answer is x times x times y times y. Next, number 6. Number 6. <clears throat> Ex uh, example is x cubed. x raised to the power of 3. So first, it's, uh, this is now a combination of a number and a letter. Variable of x. So this is a monomial. This is a monomial. One term. Now, let us now factor 6x cubed. So, let us simplify. The multiples of 6 is 2 times 3. While for your x, so there are 3x times x times x times x. So, there are 3x because cubed. So, this is your completely factored. So, 2, 3, 2 times 3 times x times x times x that is your completely factor let's go <clears throat> more examples <clears throat> how about um, for 4x squared y so let us factor this so you have already a number and uh, two variables but it is still a monomial now Factor 4 x squared y. So your 4, 2 times 2. While your x here, it will become, let's place, x times x. Then, you have only one y. So y. So now, 2 times 2 cannot anymore be factored. So this is now your completely factored. 2 times 2 times x times x times y number 8 12 x cubed y raised to the power 5 so let us factor this um, there are so many multiples for 12 ah this is this is this term is also a monomial. What are the multiples? First, let's go with the number. What are the multiples for 12? So you can have 12 um, equals to 3 times 4. You can also have 12 um, 12 times uh, 2 times 6. And another one is 12 times 1. These are the multiples of your 12. You can have here 
we can choose any you can choose either 3 times 4 2 times 6 or 4 12 times 1 so what if if we will be using um, this 2 times 6 so it will become we will be right 12 x cubed y raised to power 5 so we will be using 2 times 6 your 2 cannot anymore be factored while your 6 can still be factored what is that? it's 2 times 3 so 2 and 3 cannot anymore be factored so we will be using 2 2 times 2 times 3 so it will become 2 times 2 times 3 times how many x do we have? 3 1 2 3 how about your y? You have 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is now your complete factor.